So almost two decades ago, certain businesses of connected people received funds from the GIPF to be invested in a number of business ventures. The chickens have come home to roost on some coo, coo, coo. Because they're certainly on their deathbeds after the citizens have waited this long for answers on how public funds were unscrupulously squandered and remain unaccounted for. Check this out. The squandering of GIPF funds has been coming on for a long time now. It's another antiquated story. It's a time during which Mr. Primus Hango was the managing director. In fact, managing director is the wrong word, or CEO is the wrong word to use. Principal is an accurate description of a head of a pension fund in terms of the Pension Fund Act of 1956. During his era, there was a board of directors, board of trustees, at the government institution's pension fund. And nothing that happened happened without the authority of the government institution's pension fund board of trustees. So, because of the due diligence principle and their fiduciary obligations towards members of the pension fund, the buck stops with the CEO of the GIPF and its board of directors. 4,600 million Namibian dollars, not 650 million as they would want the public to believe, 4,600 million Namibian dollars left the coffers of GIPF and were diverted to individual close corporations and PTYs, companies registered with the Registrar of Close Corporations and Companies. If a company is registered, it has a spoor. You can trace whom it belongs to. The company has a bank account. There are signatories to that bank account. Who are these people? Who are in charge of these monies that were allegedly invested with these companies? Nothing is happening. It's a story that, has, that is coming for almost the past two decades now. And the Anti-Corruption Commission is silent about it. Uh, uh, some of the culprits are roaming the streets, driving Mercedes Benzes and BMWs like the entrepreneurs of, 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 of Namibia. But they know absolutely zilts about investment. All they know is to steal pensioners. You know what a pensioner is? The GIPF caters for the needs of the physically infirm for widows and orphans, right? Now people who steal from these people are roaming the streets and driving Mercedes Benzes and giving the picture of I am the success story of Namibia. Petty criminals, thieves, and we respect them and say we look up to them because of the cars that they are driving and the mansions they live in. They don't steal from ordinary people that can defend themselves. They steal from the physically infirm, widowers and widows, orphans. And what does Namibia do? We clap hands and we look up to them. They are our heroes. We must change that mindset. And we must disrespect them. We must learn to insult them for what they are worth. They are the scum of this world. And we clap hands for them. We respect them. Why? Because we are afraid what will happen to Kandara will happen to us.